Today, I wanna to show y'all the best method to clipping your video games. You're gonna first start off with downloading OBS. Before you do so, hit the like button, subscribe button if this helps you all out. Go to OBS's website, select the download installer, and download it. Once you have that step, we're gonna dive right into our OBS. It should look like a clean blank slate. In this slate is where all the magic will happen. And don't feel overwhelmed. We're not gonna do anything with regards to streaming. This is gonna be purely clipping your video games. Let's dive right into the settings to optimize it for recording. So I hit the settings tab in the bottom right. I'm then I'm gonna go immediately to output. There, output mode, select advanced. Next, click on the recording tab. When you're in there, have type set to standard and select the recording path of your choosing. This is where the clips you save will go. Let's go ahead and select the recording format. For me, I have it set to MP4. Next is audio tracks. I have that set to one, two, three, and four. You can have all of them selected. You can have just two of them selected. This will depend on settings that we talk about further ahead in the video. For the encoder, if you have an RTX 20 series or 30 series card, go ahead and select NVENC H264. If you have any other card that's of a lesser power, etc., go ahead and select X264. We're gonna now scroll down and we're gonna click on rate control. I have it selected on CQP with a CQ level of 14, which means that the clips that are saved are gonna be in relatively lossless format. You can go and do research for your own computer and see if CBR, etc., are gonna be better alternatives for you. Now, sticking with this settings, uh, keyframe intervals is set to two. My preset is on max quality, but again, you could do it to performance, quality, it really depends on your PC specs. And that's the beauty of OBS. It gives you that freedom of being modular and adhering to what you need for your computer. The profile is set to high. Uh, look ahead is not selected. Psychovisual tuning is selected. GPU zero. Max B frames is set to two. Cool. We have that. Now go into the replay buffer setting. Here, you're going to go ahead and select enable replay buffer. Now you're going to select a maximum replay time. For me, I have it set to 90 seconds because I don't really need it longer than that. And then maximum memory megabytes. I have mine set to half a gig of memory. We have all the output stuff set up. Let's go to audio. Check that sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz. Your channels are set to stereo. And you should be good to go. Video. This is important. For your base resolution, you want to select whatever the resolution of your monitor is. For me, I use a 1440p monitor, so mine's going to be set to 2560 by 1440. My output resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080. Downscale filter is Lazanko's 36 samples, but you can again play with this to see what works best for you. And then I have it currently set to 30 frames because of recording my screen. However, you should keep this at 60 frames per second or higher. Now, if you go higher, just remember that it's going to eat up more space. Okay, cool. Hotkeys, we're going to touch that later and you have no need to touch the advanced tab for now. With that, we have all the settings done and we can move on to the next step. Next is setting up OBS to look the way you want it to. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it relatively minimal and show you how to capture your video game, capture your mic's audio, as well as capture all the audio from your PC or audio that you want specifically recorded. With that being said, let's go into our sources, click the plus button, and select display capture. This is the easiest option for capturing whatever's going on on your screen. You can disable capture cursor just to keep it more clean and just hit okay. Select whichever display is the one that your video games are being displayed on. For me, since I only have one monitor, it's gonna be my primary monitor and I'm just gonna click okay. Alternatively, if you do not want your whole display being captured, rather you want the game specifically to be captured, I got you there. Click the plus sign under sources again and hit click game capture. Once you're there, write the name of the game that you're wanting to play. For example, Valorant, and then click OK. You're going to see mode and then you're going to capture a specific window. It's going to then ask you which window. Well, you're going to select Valorant and then you're going to scroll down, hide the capture cursor, keep use anti-cheat compatibility hook on because you do not want to mess with that and have some weird Vanguard thing or whatever anti-cheat software thinking OBS is sus. And click OK. You can go ahead and do this for every single game you want. Since I'm just keeping it simple and just a Valorant, I only need Valorant for this purposes of the tutorial. 
but you get the point. Just repeat this process for all your video games. Now that we have our display figured out, we next need to figure out the audio that's being captured. Firstly, your mic. That's the easiest. So you click the plus button under sources, you click audio input capture, you write the name of your mic just to keep it consistent. For me, that's a Behringer XM8500. Device, I'm gonna select my mic, click OK. And now as you can see the green bar here, it's showing that it is in fact hearing what the mic is saying. Now we need the audio that we hear being recorded too. The simplest way to go about doing this is by clicking the plus button under sources and selecting audio output capture. When you do this, you're gonna have audio output capture, click okay. It's gonna ask you which device do you want it to capture? If you have, let's say, multiple different audio inputs that you're hearing from, for example, your speakers or your earbuds, etc., you wanna select whichever one you use while gaming. So for me, that would be my speakers FIO Q series. So I'm gonna click those, I'm gonna click okay, and now everything that's heard through my earbuds is gonna be heard on the bar. Say you want only specific audio to be captured. For example, just your mic and the video game, or your mic and your music, but not your Discord, etc. There's a second link in the description that you'll need to download, and that will give you the Windows Capture Audio Beta software. Go ahead and scroll down and download the Win Capture Audio 2.2.2 Beta Setup exe file install it. When you have it installed, go back to OBS. In OBS, you should now have this really dope feature, which is application audio output capture. So how are we going to use this? Firstly, in scenes, you're going to click the plus sign and you're going to create a new scene called all application audio output. You can name it whatever. I'm just naming it clear for now. I'm going to click the plus sign now. And I'm going to now, under sources, define all the different audio outputs that I have. So for this instance, I'm going to have, let's say, Valorant output. And now it's going to ask me which session, which is basically which like application that's running that you want to add. So Valorant, I'm going to click that. I'm going to add executable. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to repeat this process for all my different audio outputs. Now that I have all my different audio output sources, Discord, Edge, and Valorant set up, I can go back to scene one, click the plus button under sources, and then click scene. Once I click that, I'm going to select all application audio output and click OK. Now it's going to have all our different outputs shown on the audio mixer, which is awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is modify the tracks that each of these audio outputs save to. And this is important for when you're doing video editing, then you'll have all the tracks separately spread out. So you're not having two different audio outputs smushed into the same track, which will be a total pain to then properly edit. So the way to do this is you just go into the cog wheel, click on advanced audio properties, and now you're gonna scroll to the tracks on the right side. Go ahead and deselect all of them. Okay. They're all deselected. Now for each one, we're going to dedicate one track per item. For the audio output capture, I'm going to select that as one. That means the first track will have all of the audio from the PC be recorded to. My mic is always gonna be a separate track just to make sure that it's being preserved and no video game is muddling what I'm saying. So I'm gonna select track two. For Discord, Edge, and Valorant, again, I'm gonna give them separate tracks for themselves. So three, four, and five. Now we're all well and good. Also, this is a sync offset buttons right here. For example, if you do a webcam and you see a delay between what you're saying and what you're seeing, you can go ahead and tweak that in the sync offset. But that's for if you do webcam stuff. I'm not talking about that in this video. Cool beans. The way OBS is set up right now, whenever you save your clip, you don't get any audio cue. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that you're at the website, you're going to go on the right side and click on the download zip link. This should then download the file that you'll need. So open that up and extract beep on replay buffer save.lua file. Save this to downloads or wherever is convenient for you. Now that you have saved, you're going to copy paste the percent app data little script thingy that I've written in the description. You're going to click Windows R and you're going to copy paste that into the run shortcut and click OK. In here, you're going to right click, click new folder and you're going to 
create a folder named scripts. In this folder, you're going to copy paste the beep on replay buffer save.lua file into it. Next, you're going to find a .wav file of your choosing and you're going to save it in this folder. You need to change its name to what I have linked in the description or written in the description called sound NPC scanner scanner photo one in this specific format, then you're good to go. Next, we need to load it onto OBS. So the way we do that is we're going to go to OBS. In it, we're going to select tools in the top left corner. Go down to scripts, click it. You're going to load the script. So I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to reload it. And the way to get here is, again, go to Windows R, select the app data percent OBS Studio, click on scripts folder. Now on this bar, just uh, click it and then copy it. Once you have it copied, go back to the folder that's asking you for where you want your script found. And you're going to right click, uh, copy paste that here. You're going to click enter and it's going to pop up the replay buffer .lua file here. You're going to click that. It's going to open it and you're well and good. And now you have the audio cue set up. The last step you need to do is go into settings. In settings, you're now going to set up the hotkey for your replay buffer. For me, that's shift backslash, but for you, it could be whatever you want. Now that you have your hotkey set up, you're good to go. Whenever you want to play your game like Valorant, CSGO, League of Legends, whatever, Minecraft, Roblox, whatever game it is, you have to open up OBS and you have to click on start replay buffer. Once replay buffer is turned on, you will now have the ability to clip your games. And the way you do it is you click your shortcut like I'm gonna do it right now. And as you probably heard while I clipped it, it made my little audio cue telling me that it has in fact clipped it. OBS is now ready for you to use it as your game clipping software. This is the most modular way to clip your games, you can add a webcam if you wanted, you could add a stream overlay, you could add all those fun stuff, or just keep it as minimal as this. If this tutorial helped y'all out, hit the like button and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.